We're going to have record cold conditions. We're going to have record snowfall. So this is going to be a major winter storm, and it's bearing down on us now from the south. We're going to get the first round in the overnight hours. It got above freezing today after a morning low of 20, along with another icing event, most of it across Johnson and Ellis counties and down to the south in the 35 corridor. Uh, that was quite a long cold spell at 2.53 o'clock this afternoon. DFW hit above freezing, hit that 33-degree mark. Last Tuesday at 8 o'clock was when it went below freezing, so it was below freezing for 90 hours. By the way, the record is 295 hours set across a, a December in 83. But let's talk about that winter precip overnight. There's going to be travel problems in the late night hours and tomorrow morning because of freezing rain and sleet coming up the 35 corridor and getting into the Metroplex. It's going to be up the 45 corridor. This is where we're going to have black ice across the Metroplex in the overnight hours and tomorrow morning. Now, most of this will just be snow from Bridgeport, Mineral Wells, and out to the west, so they won't have icing problems there, just snow problems on the road. But future casts we go, we're going to Watch these uh, temperatures drop down into the low 20s. We're going to start seeing some freezing rain coming up the 35 corridor. I've stopped it at 3 in the morning. You can see how already we're starting to see the snow coming in from the west. This is 8 in the morning tomorrow, and this is light snow going on. The freezing rain will change over to light snow. So we'll have some ice on the roads, and then we're going to have snow on top of that. Because as we get into the afternoon hours, we're going to have significant snow start moving in. It will start coming in from Bowie over to Stephenville. By the time we get at the end of the day and it starts getting dark, the heavy snow will arrive in the Metroplex into Denton, down into Cleburne. It's going to start moving from west to east. There's going to be several bands of heavy snow, and you can see forecast numbers are showing anywhere between four to seven inches of snow, the heavier amounts probably from Graham and Bowie and out to our west, also in a band to our east. East. It's, it's just hard to look at this, isn't it? Four to six inches of snow for the Metroplex. You know, the last time we had a one inch snow around here, that was 2,172 days ago, six years ago. And the last time we've had a four inch snow, that was 11 years ago. So this is very unusual to get this much snow. We've been in a snow drought. And it ends starting tomorrow night. Future cast would go because we have to talk about temperatures. Tomorrow morning, they'll be in the teens. And then as we get in towards Sunday night, the feel like temperatures will get down below zero. And then by the time we get into Monday morning, when the roads are absolutely the worst, we're going to have wind chills well below zero in the negative teens, some of the coldest wind chills we have seen in years. And it'll probably stay those feel like temperatures below zero all day on Monday. This is where it bottoms out Tuesday morning. That two degrees, that's the coldest temperature since 1989. And I have to show you this. This is next Tuesday night and Wednesday. We could have another event, and it could be worse down across the our southern counties. It could be an ice storm down, down there from Anderson County into Waco. So there's that. Uh, we have ice overnight, snow by heavy snow by afternoon tomorrow. It tapers off in the morning on Monday, but the damage is done. Monday will be a day you do not want to travel on President's Day. And Tuesday, not much relief after that very cold temperatures. By the time we get to Wednesday, we get another storm. It actually starts Tuesday night. It lasts into Wednesday morning. More snow before it finally starts to warm up next weekend.